I'm excited about this one. I hope you guys are ready. What's up, guys? Hey, welcome back to MLB 21, Road to the Show. Welcome back to Dirk Dingers. That's right, baby. We have our official Dirk Dingers MLB sanctioned jersey in. I ordered this thing off the official MLB shop a few weeks ago. It was kind of expensive, bro. These things are like 150 bucks. It's nice though. I, I would hope so. So you guys can see we got the Phillies on the front here. We got the little Nike swoosh. We've got the uh, the number 15 Dirk Dingers on the back. Now, unfortunately, 15 is what we originally created the character with. 16 is what they gave us on the Phillies, so I am kind of sad about that. I wish I would have made it 16. Speaking of which, huge shout out to my man Shadow Vadix with his Dirk Dingers jersey. He even got the number right. My guy, that's what I'm talking about. He tweeted that at me this morning. That's that's crazy, man. I, I, I don't think anyone else has ever made a jersey like that for this series. Maybe they have and I just didn't see it, but um, that's honestly really, really cool. I appreciate the support, brother. Hopefully you're enjoying the series. Uh, obviously you are. Hopefully you continue to. But um, yeah, man, I'm excited. You know, we've done this a few years in the past. I don't think we've done it every year. Looking back, I really wish we would have had a custom jersey for every game. And I wish I would have hung on to them. I think I have most of them somewhere in my closet. I'm going to have to look for them. But it'd be cool to, you know, kind of see the progression of the series in a physical form like that. But um, anyway, we're back, baby. Let's see if this jersey can bring us some good luck. Oh, look at that. We have officially fully recovered from our injury. You guys know we had a blister on our hand from when we dove for that ball in the outfield recently. So that's good. We've got that back. And um, let's see what we've got going on. The player's attention to an area of possible development. Increase our throwing accuracy a bit. That's one of the things we don't really focus on. So I appreciate that, Skip. We could definitely kind of improve upon that a little bit. And uh, here we go. Final game against the Rockies. First ever game in our jersey. Let's see what this thing's made of. Fresh a new day, fresh new episode. Fresh new fingers and a fresh new fit. Let's get after it, here we go. Final game against the Rockies here. Definitely gonna be looking to uh, to close things out with a win. These guys are uh, a decent, decent team. You know, a couple, couple games under 500, but uh, we're, we're better than that. Here we go, bottom of the first. Nothing, nothing ball game. Two guys on, one guy out. Change up slider, four seam, 12 six curve, and a sinker. Let's go. First pitch on the way. Oh my goodness. That's gone. It's gotta be gone. It's gotta be gone. The first pitch. The first pitch. Are you kidding me? Dirk Dingers. Goodbye. I knew I spent 150 bucks for something. My goodness, this thing better, it better be made out of magic threads. I better be able to be able to hit everything out of the park, my, my guy. This is ridiculous. And that was that was after like a coupon code, dude. I got like a, a coupon code that saved me like 22 bucks. These things are expensive, but it is it is fresh, honestly. Like I, I, I like it a lot. I would wear it. Might have to catch me at a Phillies game this summer. Out here repping Dirk Tingers. I don't know about him yet. The average Phillies fan does not know about him yet, but they will one day. Let's go. Look at that. Hey, dude in a Phillies, a Phillies uniform caught a two out there. All right. Got a 3-0 lead, bottom of the third, two outs, nobody on. Same pitcher here, Kyle Freeland. You are going to give me a sinker right down the pipe again, are you? That was... That was not your, your, your best move right there. Here we go, starting off the count 1-0. Would have been nice if we could have been the, the pinstripe jerseys here. I don't know if I can choose that. We are at home, so it, I mean, it, we, we could have. These jerseys on the, the game are a little bit ugly. This is honestly my favorite look. Low four seam shoot, baby. All right. Here we go. So it sounds like Mr. Freeland's been picking up a little bit of, uh, little bit of steam here. Got to be careful with this one-two count. Oh! Oh, stop! Oh, stop! <laughs> Dirk Dingers! Holy cow, dude. I might have to retire this jersey. It's gonna make it too easy for us out here. Gotta make things more difficult. Either that or we're gonna have to bump the difficulty up. I do think we are gonna start messing with the difficulty here soon. I always said we were gonna kinda start to, to Change things up as soon as we got to the show. We're, we're pretty comfortably in our role here. We've just been been having fun. 
Might put it on the, the dynamic difficulty. I, I don't know. We'll see. I, I kind of want to do an episode where we put it on the easiest difficulty, and then I want to do definitely do an episode where we put it on the hardest difficulty just to see the difference between the two. I don't know. We'll, we'll, see. we'll see what else we can do. Look at that. Look at that hustle. Look at that dive. Look at that arm accuracy. Your boy is feeling good out here. Just wanted to get a little bit of dirt on the shirt. Here we go. Gary Sanchez. Let me just go ahead and get under this guy right here. Get it ready to throw into our cutoff man. Ooh. Putting everything behind it right there. I love it. Working on that arm accuracy. Coach gave us that, that bonus there. All right, Chichi Gonzalez coming up to bat. We are two for two with two home runs. That's pretty nice. Forcing cutter sinker change up at a curve. Go, go foul, 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 foul. No, dude. That thing was absolutely bombed up in the air. The hang time on that was ridiculous, and it still almost made it out of the park. Holy cow. All right. Got a 4-0 lead. Things are uh, are looking pretty solid. Would have liked a, a single there to be able to make it 5 nothing, but it's 5 nothing now. Bottom of the seventh, four-seam slider and change up. Here we go. That was a nasty, nasty location. That was fantastic. Come on, Trev! Way underneath that thing. Skied it out again. Dude, if we if we had a, a, a fence 387 feet in the air, we probably would have crossed it right there. We've got our axi wrong. Our, our axis, our axi. How, what's what's the axis? Is axis the plural of plural of axis? I'm not sure, but we're we're hitting it up. We gotta we gotta hit it that way. All right. Play a bit more defense here. Ooh. All right. So they they they've got some some yard jumping power as well. Couple of rows up. I respect it. Nicely done, Jake. Unfortunately, that's that's not going to be enough to uh, to bring you guys back into it. We've still got a hearty lead here. One thing I haven't checked on. How, where are we at? Oh shoot. Well, this isn't good. Yep, not going to be able to go get that one. Sorry, fellas. I, I don't I don't got those go-go gadget arms, dude. Stop. Let's let's not do it again. Don't send another one over my head here, please. We need we need three outs to to seal this ball game. Get there, get there, get there, get there. Yes, sir. I see done. Go ahead and toss that up to a fan in the stands and uh, bam. That's a win. We'll take it. All right. Two for four with two home runs. Start of the the game was was obviously where we want to be. Kind of popped up a little bit towards the end, but we're gonna be fine. Jenny Finch, you weren't just a star on the softball diamond, but you are also the wife of a former major leaguer. What is it like to be That's part cool. of the family of a major league rookie? You're out there with them. You know, it takes a village. It truly does. And, and you're riding every level, every long bus trip. You know, you've been there the entire way trying to get them to this point. And so to be able to see them shine and to make it to the bigs, there's only a handful of people that make it there. And, you know, it's, 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 it's the greatest to be able to see dreams being accomplished and them doing it and having the opportunity to play on the big stage. Because you realize it, it, everything has to be aligned in order for you to have that opportunity. And it's so very rare. And how many baseball players out there and, and you know, less than 1% make it. And so you, you're soaking it up and you're so happy for them to finally get their opportunity. Interesting. So she she's married to Casey Daigle. Sean Casey Daigle. Never heard of him. Started with the Diamondbacks in 04. Last appearance was with the Astros in 2010. He had a three and four record as a pitcher. Seven ERA and 30 strikeouts. Sheesh. Girl, if you're if you're looking for someone to do a little bit better than that, you just you just let me know. I did just pick the wrong loadout though we're gonna have to we're gonna have to back out and re-up we got to put our pitching loadout up because your boy's pitching now before we hop in the mound which by the way this is perfect because we're gonna be able to see some some you know defense and hitting as well as some pitching uh here with the new good luck charm the new equipment real life equipment we've got equipped uh, I, I wanted to see here so we've got a 392 average and we've got 13 home runs i was just curious 
I know it's it's too late for us to be selected, but you guys could see the home run derby and all star game are next week. So 392 and 13. Let me see what we've got going on with league leaders. Batting average, we are leading the league. Technically, we're not up there because, again, we got started late. We don't have the 3.1 plate appearances per team games played yet. But, um, yeah, batting average, we're leading. And then home runs. Is it the top eight that get invited? Yeah, it's the top eight. So, I mean, we're on this list. Right there. We're on this list, but just not quite. Right now, we are tied for, uh, for 35th with 13 home runs. And it looks like to be able to be in the top eight... We would have wanted 18 or 19 would have been a little bit safer. At least we got Bryce up there for us. I appreciate that. So, dude, we <clears throat> we definitely could have made it. We did that in a few weeks. That's unfortunate, but it's uh, it's all a part of the process, baby. We're going to be back there next year. So let's go ahead and play this game. We're going to select our pitching loadout. Let's get into it. Dodger Stadium, baby. My goodness. This place is gorgeous. I love it. Been out. The L.A. Dodgers, huh? My oh my, Dodgers Stadium, gotta love it. Southern California, the perfect weather, the sunshine, the just, just a fantastic place for baseball. Fans try to get out of the games afterwards. It's gonna take you like three and a half hours, but don't worry about it. I used to live in, in L.A., went to quite a few games, and it, I mean, it, it's always a good time. I would kill for a Dodger dog right now, but trying to get out of the stadium, out of the parking lot and stuff after games is, is one of the most miserable experiences I've ever had. Here we go. Travis Jankowski. That swing looking Jankowski, bro. When I'm when I'm done with it here, let's see what we can do. Oof. So we are still on the, the original pitching thing. I know I said last time we were pitching we were going to switch that up, but I feel like we've just got so much going on. I kind of want to do an episode somewhat dedicated to that. want to try to just do as best as we can here, improve our pitching, and I, I think... With one or two more training sessions, we should be able to add a fourth pitch. And obviously, that's going to be very, very exciting if we can make that happen. So, bam. First one down. That's what I'm talking about. That's what we're looking for. Let's go, baby. All right. Numero dos. Let me start working on you. Ooh, he's going to find the gap right over second base right there. He's going to get on base. Okay, it's fine. It's not a big deal. We already got one down. We just got to be careful about this, Trev. Mookie Betts coming up to bat. Catcher's calling for nothing but uh, nothing but four seamers out here. So we'll see. See what we can do. Gonna find that low and away corner right there. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna go for the cutter outside. Ooh, he swung at it. That's what I'm talking about. Sorry, Mooks. All right, let's go. Let's go up in the zone. Nope, he's not going to be looking at that one. 2-2 two, two count here. I'm going to go for the, the low and end curve. A little bit too far inside. Right, low and away, four seam. It's going to end up going right down the middle. He's going to foul that one off. Shoot, dude, come on. We need a, a strikeout pitch. I'm going to go for the outside, outside cutter. Ooh, got him. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Two strikeouts so far. Cody Bellinger up to bat. Let's go, Cody. Oh, got him with that first one right there. That's what I'm talking about. Gonna go for a uh, nice little curveball to follow that thing up. Not quite. Yeah, dude. I mean, we're, we're, we're doing all right. I, I definitely... I wish we could focus more on pitching. Obviously, it's kind of hard to focus on pitching when you get, like, one pitching opportunity every, I don't know how many episodes. Come on, get him. That's He's out. He's out. He's out. Get out of there. I wasn't liking that at bat anyway. Catcher just saved us. That's what I'm talking about. Just yoinked him. Did you see me just stand there? As the ball goes right past, past my face, that could have been could have been ugly. Oh, wait. Since when do we hit when we're on the mound? I've never done this before. Four seam knuckle curve, cutter, two seam, and a slider. I got two guys on. One guy out. Up by one here in the top of the second. Let's go. From the stretch. Let's show you, boy, is, in fact, a two-way player. He can get it done in both sides of the ball during the same game. That's inside. All right, 1-1 one, one count. We're good. Here we go, baby. Bat and ninth. Clean up crew. That's outside. All right, 2-1 count. Got the lead here. This is what we're looking for. Pitching 98 miles an hour. 
if the manager wants to. There's a lot of different ways you can go about it. This team's focused. In Come on, baby! Ah, uh, I was hoping that was going to be... Shoot. I was really hoping that was going to be our first home run as a pitcher. That's going to be a, a very hyped situation when it happens. All right. Well, I didn't have to walk far. Just going to get right back on the mound here and start pitching him right right back down the pipe. That's what I'm talking about. He's way out in front of that thing. All right. Let's give him a curve then. Oof. All right. One, two, three. You're done, son. But yeah, man, I, I would like to, you know, kind of focus on pitching a little bit more. Definitely gonna gonna do more bull bullpen workouts. I think when we add a fourth and then maybe even a fifth pitch, that's gonna be the biggest thing we can do. We, we've got to try out the the more accurate, more difficult pitching style. It's kind of like a higher risk, higher reward. You have a little bit more control, as you guys can see sometimes. Especially when I'm not paying attention, it's it's kind of hard to 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 what's it called to hit. Hit these levels. Ooh, that was actually not a not a very bad pitch. It was still pretty close to the corner. All right, I'm gonna go up in the zone. Close enough that if ooh, there it is. Close enough that if he hits it, he's just pop it up, but not, you know, not so close that we want him to hit it. Ideally, we'd like to see see that just happen right there. That's gonna be a tough pace to keep up, but it looks like he has what it takes to work deep into this game. Five batters faced, four strikeouts. Whew, and we're finding the very edge of the dish, my guy. This is looking good. I'm nervous about this this call from the catcher. Nice. All right, got up a little bit too high there. I like it, though. I'd rather have that than uh, have him crank a home run or something. All right, got those two there. You guys ready for, uh, for the end of the inning? Let's just head back to the dugout here. Ooh. Not as close as I wanted it to be. Go low and away. Oh, come on, man. Should be an easy play for short, though. Oof. Throws it down in the dirt. I don't know what you're doing, man. Need you to do it better, though. All right, bottom of the third here. Back in on the mound. Let's get after it. Going to be looking to uh, continue our, our dominating performance so far. I'm trying to lay off of our speed a little bit just to try to save a, a bit of our arm. We still do have pretty good energy. As we get better at pitching, we're going to have better stamina. We're going to have less fall off. We're going to have all kinds of, of cool stuff happen to us. So Things are looking good. I'm going to go for that outside curve right here. Or outside cut, sorry. A little bit too far. All right, 3-2 count. Going to go for the four seam. There it is. Blew it right by him, baby. First out down. Dude, I mean, I, I don't know what to say. This, this jersey is obviously doing something for us. It's obviously, it's obviously our, our good luck charm that we've been we've been looking for. This is that. Ooh. I mean, first definitely could have got that ball right there. I hate when they're lazy like that. Could try to paint this this upper corner right there. Come on up. That was a strike right there. Give him the same thing on the other side. The ump's not gonna call the first one a strike, but he's gonna call the second one. Whatever. All right. At least at least one of them hit. I'm gonna go for that outside. Strikeout cutter pitch. Not going to get it. Oh, center field almost makes the play, but not quite. But yeah, man, I mean, offensively, pitching, ev everything is is working out for us. Ooh. Okay. You going to try to do it again here? Well, you're awful at bunting, that's for sure. Wait, what? We got the what, excuse me? No, there's no way. He was still on first. Let me uh let me let me get that replay real quick. I definitely uh, uh, I definitely thought his foot was already back on the bag, but well I mean if you if you want to give us a, a double play, we'll take a double play. Here we go. Got that cutter. Up and ready to uh, to serve. Yeah, there it is. All right. One pitch out. That's what we're talking about. If we could do that every time, I mean, we'd, we'd, we'd be in good shape. Who needs strikeouts when you can just throw one pitch? Ooh. All right, Trev. We got a 1-0 game here. We, I mean, 
You know, obviously I'm feeling confident. Obviously we have a, a great start to this thing, but we cannot get too comfortable. I'm gonna go for that up and away four seam. Try to hit the spot, there it is. He wasn't ready for it, a little bit late. Let's go Mark. Gonna go for that outside curveball here. You got him. He's not happy with that one. <laughs> Get him out of here, up. Toss him out. Yes, sir. All right. Four seam here. I would imagine. I mean, we we really don't have that special of of pitch selection here. I, I, I'm I'm surprised guys haven't been able to just absolutely rock our our stuff. Gonna go for an upper upper four seam right there. He's gonna pop him up. Right field's gonna be able to get under it. That's what I'm talking about. Go ahead and end the fourth. All right. Well. Hopefully, yeah, we're going to come up to bat here. Top of the fifth, one out, nobody on. Four seam, knuckle curve, cutter, two seam, and a slider. Walker, you and I are going head-to-head -head here, dude. We've, we've got a bit of a defensive battle at stakes here. Oop, I didn't mean to guess. I, I'm just not, I'm not going to swing. I'm, I'm not sure what that was. It, like, locked me in there, and then I couldn't move. All right. Errors on the ledger for the Phillies to this point. Got out in front of the knuckle curve, and all of a sudden we're down 0-2. Well, I was excited for our second at bat here, but we obviously messed things up a little bit with that first pitch. Oh, my gosh. Knuckle curve right back at him. Just not going to be able to get it done. Hey, at least it's not a strikeout. We'll take it. I wish I could have that first pitch back because that, that, that first pitch, that's a home run pitch. That's a home run pitch for us right there. We... we we, we made a, a bit of an oops. We're okay, though. All right. We've still got a, a decent a decent amount of energy here, decent amount of confidence. Energy is going down, but uh, we're going to be okay. Dude, our curves never find the bottom of the zone. We need to start pitching our curves around here. Need to pitch them a little bit higher up in the zone, and then they're going to end up, end up as a strike afterwards. Here we go. Give him the full heat right there. There it is. 94 miles an hour. That's another thing I would like to do is, is start to kind of improve our, our, our what's it called a little bit. Velocity. Like to get that up around like a, a 97, 98, something like that. Might be kind of nice. He swung. Yes, sir. That's what I'm talking about. 0-2 count. All right, let's go, buddy. I'm gonna hang this little fastball outside for you, and you're not gonna swing at it. Okay. How about an up in the up in the zone fastball? There it is. All right. That's gonna be eight strikeouts in in four and a half innings. Your boy is not slowing down anytime soon. I'm gonna go for that inside curveball. You almost hit him in his his pad there. We're good. This guy's locating, feeling really Whew. good about his fastball. Two back to Come on, baby. Two balls and a strike to see gonna go up throw. in the zone with the four seam here, and then we're going to try to get him with the cutter outside. Unfortunately, that's not going to work right there. I'm going to go for the cutter outside anyway. All right. Is that our first walk of the game? That's okay. I'm not too worried about it. We got two outs here. We just need to... Uh, just need to get one of these guys. Here we go. Time to retrain our, our timing now that we're pitching from the stretch. Go for a nice little curveball there. All right, we got him outside outside cutter. GG. Nope. Shoot. Could he go up in the zone? Oh, blew it right by him. That's what I'm talking about. All right, that wasn't exactly where we were aiming, but we'll take it. Here we go. Oof. End an inning without a run and, and, and three strikeouts without allowing a run and three strikeouts. I mean, sounds good to me. Here we go. We got to get three Ks, boys. This seems pretty unlikely. Well, we already failed it. <laughs> I mean, sometimes you got to go for it. Going to be pitcher against pitcher here yet again. We've met a couple of times so far today. Nobody's really been the winner. It's still a one nothing ball game. That's fair? No. He's at 22 speed, dude. He is not moving very quickly. All right, well, 
This is a little bit concerning now. A single to the outfield. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. We just need the one out. We need to get the batter out here. Need to get the batter out. We're going to be fine. I don't even need to look to be able to catch that thing. Here we go. Marcus Seaman. There it is. All right. Got the first one there. I'm going to take this one really seriously. Outside cutter. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, that is not where I wanted it. Shoot! Ground rule double. And this thing bounces over the wall, but I don't think it would have mattered if it stayed in the ballpark. Either way, the runner was going to score, and he was going to wind up in second. He that is that not ball. what I wanted, dude. All right, we're going to boss challenge against Mookie Betts. What's going on? What's our challenge? Did I skip it on, on accident? I think I might have skipped it on accident. Boss challenge. All right. Strike him out. Strike him out in three pitches. I'm just going to go for the strikeout. Okay. Whoa, there it is. There's the first one. I'm going to go for that cutter outside. Whoa, there's the second one. We go up in the zone here. Ooh, a little bit too far high. Gonna go high again. Ah, it's not where I wanted it. Shoot. All right, one, two count still. One, two count. I'm gonna go with that cutter outside again. Ah, okay. We're gonna be fine. How about a low and in four seam? Ooh, he's gonna be able to lay off that one. All right, all right. Outside cutter. Got him. Let's go. All right, boss battle completed. Hey. We gave up a run, but we, we got some sort of a some sort of a little bonus there. We'll take it. Dude, I, I, I'm really upset. All right, we're going to be pulled out after that. It's a pretty good game. You know, bunch of innings, bunch of, a boatload of strikeouts, and we're going to end up getting the win. I don't think we'll be attributed with the win. Yeah, Archie Bradley's going to get it, but um, as long as the team wins, that's ultimately what matters. So six innings pitched, four hits, ten strikeouts, one walk, and one earned run. I mean, that's pretty dang solid. So I would venture to say this jersey has brought us some good luck. Hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. Catch you all later. Peace out.